kind of already calming itself down already, but we got to get there before it hits. And then you guys are going to go in and secure this. Get us all our Baltic lands back. Very good, boys. Very good. Ooh, pulled up right here. Kill. Nava. Good, you guys are quelling the rebellion here. And you guys can head back here. You know, plus three stability. We are suffering from open rebellion still. Here, boys, raffle it. Come on, hurry, hurry. You guys can go ahead and get deleted because I just don't fucking need them anymore. We have a 19 ducat deficit. My fucking god. From what? Army maintenance. boys I think we got what one more stack yes head in guard it and what's well, slacking standards again I got no choice I gotta get the reserves A month passed you guys are gonna claim victory for us drop boys head here get them where is the next one possibly gonna pop up at? Right there. You can head down here, secure me this. Oh my god, I'm sick of these rebellions. There's so much. Spend the Diplo. Hopefully it calms these guys down a fair bit. Riga? Oh, not... Well, Regan wants a little... Grand Autonomy. Calm them down. <laughs> you boys head here. They'll attack you first. And we'll get ready for it. I think I'll end this episode once this is over. Kimia, of course. Yes, we'll take mercantilism. Oh yeah, never got down all the way. Anything government? Damn. Hit him, boys. Get the kill. Slacking standards one more time, and that's it. That's the last time I'm doing it. The rebellion should be about over. Spear the last of it. Or is Sweden getting that? Sweden seems like she's getting that. Head down here. Okay. Or not. Thanks, Sweden. You're doing a great job getting that territory for me, jackasses. I'm gonna annex you. 21 ducats, all because of the army maintenance at this point. Turn a blind eye. I'll turn a blind eye. It's going to be because of the army maintenance, but I got to keep it up for a little bit longer. Get down there, boys. Get them. Get them. Head to back. Preserve it. Preserve the country. Preserve it all for us. For your future children. Yes, okay. Now with that, cut it down. Cut it all down. 
got it all down. Fix the economy. Ooh. Okay. We have taken out what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten loans. This has hurt us. Army tradition up again, thank you god. Give me that. Okay. We're just gonna have to go with what we got. <sighs> wow, that was a big one. I did not expect that. That was a full on rebellion for what? So how many years was that? That was just a shit show. All right, we're gonna keep increasing the strength of Canada. I think that's a good that's a good thing to do. We're eventually gonna be pushing for this part of Canada next. As soon as I think what will happen is once these guys have connected these parts, uh, they got one, two, three more besides um, Mingan here. I think we're gonna be pushing to the Hudson Bay side of the trade node. <laughs> Just to get some trade going in up there. Because um, that's for trade goods. I think we're doing pretty good. I, I kind of like the trade system we got going at the moment. Although, my big fear is going to be is who is Colonial Canada claimed by Denmark. So, I have claims up through here. Due to me having all the power up here. But the question is going to be is how many other European states are going to try to get it next. That's my fear. Because everybody's going to want a piece of Canada. Ooh. We have a, we have a ting. Uh, let's see. We got Gulf of Saint Lawrence. We got North Sea, Baltic. Uh, I guess we could force trade from here. Collect, transfer. Okay, and then this guy can transfer trade from the Saxony trade node and force it into my trade node up here in Lubeck. And that'll increase my trade power. Making me more money. I love money. Money's good. Money's very good. The economy's doing well now. We brought it back from the brink. Literally brought it back from the brink. Oh man. We got a lot of loans to repay. Colonial effort is doing very well. We are getting much more powerful. We're at plus three stability, so everybody should shut the hell up. Um, but the big problem we're running into is reform Z lots in there. Repay that loan. And there. So Norwegian separatists are still a possibility. Also, we're also still suffering from the religious discourse. So, uh, we were able to reconvert a couple of our provinces. Sushvik, Holstein, Lubeck, they're all back to us. Um, the big concern is whatever we else we lost. So we lost Riga, it looks like to Protestantism and the Reformed State, so as time goes on we should be able to convert everything back. Um, and the printing press is finally present here, so that's actually a really good thing. Because that means it should just pop it up in our other ones. Whether they like to or not, that's good. That means, that means the printing press is finally done. I can actually switch to religion here. Goddamn bastards. Oh, gotta love, you gotta love this game. It's, it's fun. That was a big war we got involved too, and it killed our economy off. Go ahead and do redo army maintenance. We'll have to take the admin hit. I can't risk legitimacy anymore. Let's see if we can get some of our military power back. Interest is over five ducats thick. My god. What's my military? Yeah, we're well underneath what we should be. That's very low. I sacrificed a lot of professionalism for that manpower boost. Alright. Cut it back. And national ten. Wow, that's all of them? I guess we could do this guy. It's a plus two. It's only two ducats, so it's not bad. However, we can return army maintenance all the way up, because this guy should almost be done. Yes, army training. 
Because once that's done, what's that at? 3.94? I kind of need the economy growing at a higher rate than that. Let's see what it is once he's done. Not enough. We'll have to deal with army. We'll have to go without it for a while. I need the economy to boom. Once the economy's fixed, I think I can get everything renewed. So they're at a 10, 12, 12. What's my tech at? 13, 13, 13. Not bad. And we're almost going to get um, scientific experiments in. And I think what I'm going to do is I am going to jump on the aristocratic trade line. I think that one's valuable to me. And then I'll probably go see what my buddies are doing, because it looks like some of them are getting on town of Salem. Poland. Worthless hides. Die. You're no longer worthy of being my goddamn bitch. Ah, uh, let's see. Somebody I could rival. Somebody I can rival. Lithuania is a rivalable. That's neat. Um. Yeah, I guess I'll make Lithuania my bitch. Issue an embargo. Although I will say, thank god I did that alliance. So, um, I think I'll end it here. I think this episode's gonna probably be... Well, you know what, I'll do a two-parter for this. I'll keep this going for a little bit longer. I think I only need another ten minutes. We'll let the, we'll let the economy situate itself. I'll make this a two-parter. Oh, wait, I nearly forgot. If I have this set on this, these guys are gonna be unready to fight. That's not good. It's not good at all. Damn it. Scientific. And then I think... I'll go for innovative ideas, actually. Focus on admin. Bring it admin ideas done quick. Trade efficiency. And I'll take the minor hit. Military tech's gonna get put on the back burner. I'm gonna focus on getting this admin tech done. France, of course. I'm wondering if I should do the annexation of Sweden. What admin tech are we at? I think I'll wait till admin tech 15. <laughs> well, I guess I could probably just start it. How much is this gonna cost? Let's do base, same religion, plus one, minus one, minus one. Can't do it now. The economy just started tanking again. Who's in on this war? Cologne and Poland. Jeez Christ. You've got to learn to leave them the fuck alone. Like seriously. Bohemia has gone non-stop into the Polish Polish lines. I don't think there has been like a fucking century where there hasn't been multiple wars with them. Actually, no, we're in the 1500s. They have fought Poland like four, five, six times in this one goddamn century. They're going to race them off the face of this earth before they even have a chance to survive. Also, go ahead and increase the size of this fleet by an additional one. I'm fine with that. You guys have done such a professionally good job at fighting. Whoa, wait a minute, Count's Feud. It's not that far away. 
I'm gonna just type it into the damn province finder. Ah, uh, they're actually gonna rise up at a fort. I should probably just go ahead and send forces back, go back. Ah, <laughs> uh, Bavarian troops found them first. I gotta end the siege before I can kill that army, so that really does suck. Oh, come on, come on. Wow, the Ottomans are in on this now? Jesus Christ, it's a massacre to the east. Europe is about to collapse because of Bohemia. They literally have doing, been doing non stop wars, and it is ruining Eastern Europe. Which one of you got done? You did? Go ahead and head down here. Our claims are still viable. <laughs> Kill it. And then you guys are gonna head north. Go get that. That'll get retaken on its own. Thank God for that shit. Wow, they're dealing with their own rebellion. What is this? Create a grand fleet. Go on, boys. Kill them. Oh my god. More rebellions. Don't even worry about that one. Go up here. I thought that was more than that. Hold him here. Don't let him escape. Damn. I guess you guys can just head to the capital and wait it out. Poland's almost done already anyway. Self-sustaining. You guys can head here. gonna get this and then this and this kind of live without Nova Scotia as much but I don't know what the hell the AI are gonna do in this situation I'm taking so much land in terms of Canada it's the first time I've actually had like total control over a region before okay I'm getting sick of this shit stability has to be at least three Make me do that shit again. Head down here, boys. Get them. Ooh, military tech. Mine. Count's feud is over. Head back north. These guys, and I think that's it. We got new calf. Yes. How it grows. Mothball the forts again. Military units are on full on goddamn shit. Mothball the fleet. Where am I risking rebellions at? Fuck off. Starting to irritate the shit out of me with these rebellions. It's all I keep getting. Have they calmed down yet? Rushland. Calm the fuck down.
Let our economy recover for the love of Christ. Give it years. Years. The freaking amount of loans that have been taken out over the generations is slowly crippling Denmark. It must end for the survival of our species. Holy shit, Prussia formed? And it is that moment, Bohemia knew true fear. Oh my god. How far back are you? You're literally going all the way back to where these guys are holding at. Are you shitting me? I wish there was just a way to mothball my army so it just it wouldn't cost as much. Should be a goddamn thing at this point. Militarize my own army to keep it within fighting strength. Here we go. Point three ones. All right. What's this gonna give me? Trade station, Galias. Doesn't do anything for me. If anything, I really need to get these ideas freaking done. Hey, good thing I'm not going to be building any more artillery. Damn it. All her loans. How much is just coming off interest? 5.77 for the love of Christ. I need these colonies to get done too. That's the sad part. If I delete anything in this army, it'll just end up screwing me. I wonder if I could just get rid of the artillery at this point. I probably could to 10,000. Get rid of it. We'll have to do it for a little bit. That'll rectify everything I'm losing. And then I can just put full funding into the army. Just a little bit of positivity. Just to get the funds going. And then once this thing's in fact at full power... And we get enough of our economy back on track after the loans are figured out, I can actually fund something again. Army maintenance will go to half. That should boost our economy. Good, and they can win with that. They can win. Okay, that works. It's good enough for me. That means I can get the damn funding going. So how is admin points looking? Fine enough for me. Keep admin going stronger. The more I caught, the closer I get to this last goddamn colonist, and I might be able to fund a little bit more shit to the Canadian side. Finland is getting stronger. That and we're running into an issue with Spain. Spain's starting to colonize here, through here too now. Wait, that just helped us. So. I wonder if I should train these guys. I'll train them now. Yeah, I think I'm going to do a big push. It's going to be a big push for the admin tech. I'm going to get these done. I 
However, it is getting late. I think this will be the end of the episode. I think this is where I'll decide to end it at. So, uh, the economy is tanked due to heavy loan restrictions. Um, once the loan situation has been pretty much dealt with in its goddamn entirety, because I'm going to see what happens when I put my army at full. 7.82. I'd rather have it at half. I like the 10 duck again. Um, so we're going to get the loan situation taken care of. As soon as the loan situation is taken care of, I can put my army back at full strength, giving it its 10,000 cannons. Um, same time, we're going to go ahead and get the new, I think I already have it getting built, the new infantry division. Um, once that's done as well, we're going to keep pushing for this. I'm going to get uh, ex expansion ideas done. Uh, number of states going to get increased by five, but it's the fact that I'm going to get this extra colonist. That's what I'm going to be pushing for. Um, once this guy's done, then we're going to try to get to the next tech, I think. And then once the new tech's done, then we're going to push for um, probably get innovative ideas done. And then probably go back and see how many points we have. Because I think we could start getting to the point where I might be able to get military, one of the ideas for this done next. Uh, fort maintenance cost minus 10% will really help my economy out. Um, the 20% gar fort defense will actually be another good thing. And then we're actually getting pretty close to getting all this shit done in time for 1600. Um, as for institutions, printing press is actually spreading quite rapidly within the within the states, so we actually are getting it rather well. I think it's actually present up in here in Riga, shit like that. And we're pretty much waiting for this overzealous thing to fucking get rid of. So once that's gone, we'll be fine. What religion is the fuck? Wait a minute. Ren's Catholic? What the fuck happened here? Why didn't they go Anglican? Don't they always go Anglican anymore? What happened to this world? So wait a minute. Where's Orthodoxy surviving at? Okay, Orthodoxy surviving in Moldavia. It's surviving in Russia, and it's surviving in bits and pieces in Lithuania, but in the HRE war is religious peace. Oh, that's not a good one. I actually don't like that. Religious peace makes us a shit show because now everybody can be whatever religion they please, and it'll make them all happy. I'd rather just have all-out war. Um. So yeah, I think what's gonna happen is. Um, once I get this colonist done, I'm going to do the last big push for Nova Scotia. And once we secure that, we'll kind of let Canada take what's ever in the inner territories. I kind of just want the coast. Um, the next big push for this guy up here is going to be getting control of the Hudson Bay. Uh, if we can pretty much take this entire coastline, give it to Canada, um, there's nothing really stopping it from just expanding larger and larger and larger. Um, that, at least that's the theory it's going to be. And then eventually we're going to be pushing for Greenland. Um, in the case of other colonies, I'm not I'm not really situated to do that anymore. I don't want other colonies just because of trade. Um, primarily because the only other trade node that really connects to me is the Hudson one. I can see if there's one that's further west. I mean, the Ohio trade node might or something like that that'll connect into the Gulf of St. Lawrence, but... Uh, for the most part, most of my trades lock down through this region. This is the only one I care about. Um, besides that, I don't have any concerns for other trade. Um, just because of my personal preferences, Denmark. Um, it's not play, it's not, I mean, playing as Denmark isn't like playing as England. If you play as England, I mean, you're going for Chesapeake Bay, you're going for Rio Grande, Mississippi River, Mexico, Caribbean, Panama. You're going for all the big shit through here. Um, if you get all this trade, I mean, you lock it down, it heads to England. You secure this, I mean, you got it all, man. That's, I mean, I, we pretty much saw that in my campaign when I controlled pretty much the entire coast. Good chunk of the Caribbean, and... I tell you, I remember finding the Caribbean. That was a long time ago. Jesus Christ, I think I might have had the Eastern Colonies, though. I definitely had control of Africa. I controlled Africa. We controlled the Pacific for a good chunk. Australia and the such. I mean, we had a pretty expansive empire. Um, thing is, Denmark is... I gotta go for the weaker part of the trade nodes. But, um, at least in my opinion, I think I think the Gulf of St. Lawrence is a good trade. Um, as we can sit there and see, we got fur. And as for fur prices, it's at 3.5. However, it's not like tobacco. It's actually, wow, tobacco's only at three. 
Really? Grain prices? Two. Uh, what's sugar at? Three. Gold's... Yeah, but gold's fucking gold. <laughs> Alright, so in, in, at least in terms of... Trade, I guess I actually own a... I, I guess I own the more expensive bits because of fur. I didn't think fur would be that high of a price at this time. Um... Furs are one of the basic elements of high quality of warm clothing. Skins from all kinds of animals were supported from Russia, but more and more from North America when beavers would be prized of choice, at least till the middle 18th century. Wow. Okay, so I guess I guess fur was the good was a good route to go for us. That gives us a lot of resources to work with. Also, we have all out claims through here. Yet, where did the claims end? So the claims end like right about here. So that's the extent of, and is that because that's where the, no, the Gulf of St. Lawrence actually heads further south. But, the, but for this game, it says this is where it stops here, but I want the actual trade node in its entirety. I wonder if this is just part, because this part's like a main and shit. It has to be the reason why. I actually just want the entire, entirety of the trade node. That's all I care about. If I get the entirety of the Gulf of St. Lawrence trade node, I'm pretty satisfied with Canada at this point. Um... Actually, what does it say in terms of... It says nobody has control of this. Now... Caribbean trade node, nothing. Uh, let's see, Bahamas... Yeah, it says Caribbean claimed by Portugal. Okay. Now, does it claim if Britain has control of this? Yes, it says Britain... Colonial Brazil claimed by Great Britain. Okay, so the Pope does have some aspects of the game where he's playing into. So I've gained claims over Canada. Nobody else has claims. Canada's actually getting a bit of a small army going. That's 2, 6, 8k. That's not bad for an early start. And since I'm giving them so much of the land, they're actually going to be pretty powerful. So I guess I'll, I guess I'll aim for just the Canadian side of shit. So we'll actually stop here, and then this guy will push in here into Nova Scotia giving us the rest of our claims. If there's time, we'll actually jump down here further south and give that to Canada. And then the other guy up here is going to begin his push for the Hudson Bay lands. I think that's good. I think that's a good plan. Um, as for expansions in Europe, I think the most we're going to do is the annexation of Sweden. But that won't occur at least until the economy's been figured out because my economy is still tanking because of the high interest rates of over five ducats because of the amount of fucking loans I took out during the wars. Um, so we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got eight loans still to repay. Once those loans are done, I can then begin the proper way of recovering all my funds building my army back from the ground up because we no longer carry cannons in it. What's, um, what's Russia's? Russia has only a thousand artillery. They're weak. I think Russia is going to be the big outlier state. Um, mainly because I don't see them pushing east. Russia has been kept weak. Kokosia is bigger than, is probably like close to their size, yet they're Russia's bitch. If Russia would, wait a minute, is that just a royal marriage? Wow, did I thought they were in a personal union. Am I wrong? I thought both of these guys had personal unions with Russia. Wow. Well, that makes them more powerful. That's probably the largest I've ever seen them, but they're suffering a lot of rebellions. That's probably really hurting them internally. I don't know how much longer they're going to survive. Still higher tech levels in Russia. Russia would leave... You have the Great Britain Alliance, that's probably your saving grace at this goddamn point. If I declared war on you, would anybody join? France would. Now, France, why would you? You just fucking hate them. You guys, 160, that's not horrible? Yeah, once you guys recover, wait a minute, what's Bohemian Army Strength, Manpower? 160, that's what? 160, that'd get us to 99. Um... 16, and that still wouldn't be enough. Bohemia just wouldn't join. I keep wondering if I should just annex Bavaria at this point. It feels like they got smaller. No, that's... No, that's about their size. They might have been one province longer. 
Maybe almost the other? No, they didn't have that. I, I want to say that's the size of what their state used to be. I feel like annexing them, to be honest. Imagine me having this little center bit there. That'd be nice prime territory. I don't know that. We'll have to think about this. This is a lot of thinking. Um, so, yeah, I, I dragged this on long enough, guys. I apologize about this. I've just been thinking, getting ideas across. There's so much going on in the world. The, war, the wars in, the, in Europe have just fucking... They, they have catapulted me on a mood swing, the life of which Christ has not seen since since he got put up on that fucking cross. I mean, we've dealt with so much shit through here, so, um, if you've enjoyed content, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next round of Denmark's EU4 campaign. Thank you, and I'll see you guys then.